She decided to give the doctor a ring. She was feeling a little lightheaded, a little headache. So she walked up five steps to uh, get her address book. And then she went to come down the five steps and she fell. So literally her heart stopped, her breathing stopped, and she fell face first right down onto a floor right near where I was working. Passed out, fell down the stairs on my face. I reacted by uh, checking for her, you know, trying to wake her up, um, and she didn't respond. And then I uh, checked for a pulse and breathing, and it wasn't there, and I started doing CPR. Kept her alive until, <laughs> until, until the ambulance arrived. Right? Mm -hmm. They came very quickly and did a great job. They um, paddled her uh, immediately and uh, popped her, you know, got her heart going and then uh, put an airway in and um, she's still unconscious and went to the hospital uh, immediately in an ambulance. I died, basically. And he brought me back. She had a lot of um, facial wounds and cuts and she had a fractured jaw. It's very, you know, it was touch and go as to um, you know, how much damage was done. Never been through uh, you know, this kind of event, and um, you know, certainly I knew that the uh, you know could be bad. It was pretty traumatic coming home and not really knowing what was going on or what was wrong. And I remember standing at the top of the stairs. I don't remember anything else, and then I woke up in the hospital. I remember the doctor being there, and he and I asking, "Oh, why am I here? Oh, you had a heart attack." I was shocked. like in perfect health. I mean, I'm, I always consider myself one of the healthiest people around. Eat right and exercise all the time. I'm totally active. To this day though, you don't really know why you had a heart attack. No. I have um, a defibrillator, internal defibrillator that was surgically inserted. If I have a heart attack, it will shock me back to life. What if Bob hadn't been here? Oh, I wouldn't be here. That's just the way it is. Just kept pumping my heart. Why are you passionate about telling your story? Just so people know that they should go out and be certified or get trained, know what to do in an emergency, know, what, know how to do CPR, because it can happen, you know, you, anywhere. Everybody in our family knows CPR. It's important. Save a life if you can. Because you never, never know when uh, you need it. And I needed it you know, for my wife, and I can't imagine what life would be without her. I'm pretty certain I survived that day because of my kids, especially my son. <laughs> he needs me. She means a lot to me. I don't know how it would have panned out otherwise, but I'm very happy she's here. We're kind of a close-knit family, get along and do a lot of stuff together, but it makes you think about life a little bit more seriously. <laughs> It's about family. I mean, if my life were about anything, it would be about my family and um, being together and celebrating the little things in life. You feel lucky? Oh, I always feel lucky. I feel lucky before I had the heart attack. I feel luckier now. I mean, we've got it. Life is pretty good for us. Mm -hmm.